Greetings with lovers. I have here another video of uh, the unboxing of uh, the new acquisition for my collection of Red Wing boots. This is the 4606 Ebony Iron Ranger. So I was lucky to have found this one on eBay, which was a limited edition from I believe 2019 and um, I was at a Red Wing store dropping off my Beckmans for a resale and uh, saw a number a size 8 Ebony Ranger and I asked the uh, person if they had those in my size he said those are discontinued so I went ahead and started looking around and found myself a factory second so it was quite expensive 487 dollars but i did not have a doubt in uh, getting them because this is a absolute beauty the dark chocolate brown with all the uh, all the accents of the black sole and the matching color welt. Um, it can also go with lining, it can also pass on as a type of a dark burgundy, but really, um, it really disguise itself in different types of colors. And uh, I was really, um, it was really a love at first sight when I saw them and um, I just went ahead and looked and found them I made some uh, offers uh, seller did not respond to my offers and uh, I held on till the last minute and with this type of boots um, when they are limited edition this was a limited edition for the United States only so I have held on some uh, offers and at the last minute I have uh, regretted so I said not this time let's go get them and uh, here they are after I got this in December but here we are in March and uh, I have only worn them uh, inside the house so we can tell right now the flexing that uh, has been put on as I have worn them just uh, very briefly not heavy not any heavier uh, wearing just kind of like late um, light breaking and um, uh, they are a little bit stiff stiff stiffer than the regular Iron Ranger uh, uh, I put them on with a thick sock and it's kind of rough uh, I'm here we're looking at um, details that might have been passed on that uh, reasons for which they became a uh, factory second we see right there the finishing on the capital compared to the other one that one is very sharp and fine and clean and the other one looked kind of like a rough out so. some other things that i noticed the stitching the all of the the junctures right there where everything comes together the, it's kind of rough uh, there were some loose thread right there it was a very it was not clean so and uh kind of looks a little messy but uh, it's hard to believe that that was some details that Red Wing decided to say well that's going to be a factory second because it's not perfect and wow I mean Red Wing does look out for things like that so yeah that the threading was coming off and I trimmed it with the with the scissors so right there we can see those little details and um, 
but uh, I didn't find anything inside the boot, inside the sole, where, you know, it could not be visible, but they feel and fit perfectly. Uh, haven't decided when I'm going to take them out. And, um, but for now, they've just been sitting pretty in the house and I put them on just to do a good break in. And uh, here is my 8111s going on to uh, three years, I believe. And so I'm doing a side by side comparison to look at the aging process and the patina and uh, how one looks compared to the other one. The, we can see how it has really stretched to my foot form and how uh, the natural patina. I haven't treated the Iron Rangers, the amber harnesses with anything, just natural patina. And uh, so right there, we're looking at the finishing, how one looks to the other, how one came in with the the string out and the other one is just clean. I put some uh, shoe trees on, on the amber harness and uh, I don't like them. Um, what else? So yeah, I I like the Ebony Ranger and right there that's uh, the shoe tree mark and I don't like it. I'm gonna do something about it, maybe trim the shoe tree because or it might be too big. Um, but uh, that's the uh, Iron Ranger and the uh, Ebony. Ranger, the 8111 Amber Harness, and um, the lining does not help to see the true colors, but there's a, that's as close as I can get, and we can see right there, the finishing on the cap toe is very clean compared to the other one, where you can see the, how maybe they, they weren't so exact on the cut. And what I really like is that uh, the amber harness, after three years, it took almost three years to get it a perfect fit to my foot. I put them on and they are soft as a glove. Uh, everything just, the leather is just very so subtle. And as soon as I tighten them up, it just fits great. The Ebony Ranger is, very very thick leather and it's very stiff it has given me some aches <laughs> but um it will it will in time break in and feel as comfort comfortable as the iron the amber harness and again here we're looking at the worn out iron ranger three years and the new one, Ebony, with already my ankle mark right there. Slowly but sure is coming on. And I really like how uh, the Iron Ranger, which, um, how it patinas and stretches. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't fall like other leathers where you put it and it just kind of, uh, falls down and maintain their form and I really love that about these boots here we can see the ankle marks too really like those ankle marks and and upper upper ankle and that's the ebony with the the few marks that I already put on a few stretch marks uh, here we see the tongue, how it's got the laces already on the amber harness and the ebony is also very thick and stiff so high quality. Uh, I like that contrast 
that the black soul makes on the dark brown of the ebony ranger and the matching welt i is just an amazing detail in the design and that's what caught my attention the black soul and the matching welt compared to the uh, basic welt and soul that comes on the um, regular iron rangers um, and uh, yeah it looks fantastic i love it the stitching is perfect the the back really 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 gonna enjoy this ebony's and i really love my uh, amber harness again i haven't done any type of oiling or um waxes on it just want to see how it it's going to uh, patina or age naturally in time i do i'm going to do uh, some uh, some shoe cream and uh, that's about all i'm going to do to it i don't like the oils or waxes i think uh I think the shoe cream does a good job as uh, I will show you with my bagments which uh, I have gotten them I have gotten back and they're ready and uh, there's also a video coming up on that, those ones and but in the meantime I took the time to do this unboxing and comparison video of my Iron Rangers uh, 81 11 amber harness and 46 to 6 ebony harness um, my, I mean really don't have a favorite pair of boots but I mean the iron, iron rangers are the most popular and you guys gotta have one here is a little on foot I wear them with uh, some uh, dog canvas dickies which are my favorite pens to use and uh, yeah they feel a little stiff on the top of my foot that's where they kind of put a lot of pressure but in time they will uh, become really soft and comfortable the way we all like them and uh, that's about it this is I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and um, really liked it thank you